Hello, esteemed friendos. In today's video, I'm going to be participating in one of the most popular beauty tags on YouTube. It is the top three in every category, but you guys know I can kind of prattle on. So I'm going to be real with you. I think we're going to go through six categories today, and then there might be a part two or a part three coming after this. I just didn't want this video to be forever and a day. And you guys just be sitting there like, Will she hurry up? Will she hurry up? I got dinner to make, you know, something. Something that you gotta do and I'm just holding you back, so. The categories that I am going to go through today, I have my notes right here. We're going through primer, concealer, foundation, powder, liquid lipstick, and lip liner. I hope that sounds like fun and I hope that's why you clicked on the video. If not, away we go. One of my three favorite primers is the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Now this one is the balm. A lot of people like the liquidy one better, but in my opinion, this one is top notch. I like this one for filling in the potholes in my T-zone. I think that it does a great job. It's kind of waxy. A close second to this is the e.l.f. Putty Primer. So if you don't want to spend the massive amount of money that you would spend on this, you can choose the e.l.f. Putty Primer. I would say that the difference is maybe a five to 10% difference. I think this one is maybe five to 10% better. Just being real, if I was strapped for cash, I think I would just go with the e.l.f. Putty Primer versus this one because again, they are so similar and that one is a lot cheaper. The second primer that I wanna talk about is the Becca Skin Love Brighten and Blur Primer. Now, you might have to go to the depths of the earth to get this primer now that Becca is out of business, but it would be worth it because this primer, if you put it on, you will glow like an angel. You will hear the angels sing, the heavens will open up and people will stare. Maybe I'm exaggerating. Maybe not, I don't know. This primer is radiant and it looks beautiful. Basically any foundation that I own. Even without foundation, this one right here will just perfect your skin. This primer will make your skin look so perfected. Next, I wanna talk about the Shiseido Poreless Matte Primer. This one is only for members of the Oily Skin Club. I would not recommend this to anyone who is naturally dry. This one is the best oil absorbing primer that I have ever tried. It only takes a little bit. I warm it up in my fingies first before I put it on my face. I typically will keep it right in my t-zone. I hate how much I forget to use this because I have been really oily this summer and I should have been using it more but it is fantastic and when I use it it will keep the oil from peeking through my foundation for hours. So this next category you guys is foundation. And I have to say, this is probably one where I could have picked eight favorites. I know, <laughs> I know, I'm too much. So like I said, this could be my top three out of eight, or I'm only sharing three of my eight. I couldn't really pick between my foundations. So here's three of my favorites. It is the Pure Love Your Selfie Foundation. This foundation is luminous, but it does not emphasize texture. It's also very long wearing. And I will say, I feel like this foundation lasts eternally. Like I've had this bottle, I think for five months and I use it frequently and it's still going strong. Next guys, I absolutely love this foundation, but I am going to recommend that you only get this foundation if it goes on sale. It is the Dior Air Flash Spray Foundation. Now the reason that I'm telling you that I think that you should wait for it to go on sale is it is ridiculously expensive and honestly I don't get that many uses out of this foundation before it's all gone and it goes on sale quite a bit what I will say about this foundation is when I think of wedding wear I immediately think about this foundation it's so long-lasting the coverage is very buildable and this one goes with practically every concealer and it melds well if you are doing any sort of liquid product on your face other than foundation. And when I say that, I mean like cream blushes or liquid blushes, or if you're contouring underneath the foundation, you wanna put down your cream contour and then go over it with the foundation. This one is great for that. It just gives you this pearlescent glow that is absolutely fabulous. Next in the top three is the It Cosmetics 
Bye Bye Foundation Matte Oil Free. Is this a CC cream? It says it's a moisturizer. Um, no, it is a foundation for sure. This is for when you want to be eggshell matte. It also has a sunscreen in here and the sunscreen does not break me out. And once again, this one is really nice if you are having some texture issues on your face and let's say you want to avoid any sort of luminosity and you just want to be able to place highlight where you see fit, this one is a great foundation. Next, we are moving on to powder. Powder. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is Jeffree Star Magic Star Setting Powder. So this one right here is very matte and white, but somehow magically, this looks great in pictures. I've never seen a matte white powder that didn't make you look like a ghost in a photo, but this one does not. There's hardly any flashback with it. I use the shade Fair and it smells so good. It smells like a vanilla waffle cone. If you don't mind perfume in your products, I think you would really like this powder. It's so finely milled and it's a great value for the price. The next one I'm gonna talk about is the very expensive Pat McGrath Labs setting powder. It's called the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Setting Powder. This is the most finely milled powder I have ever used. It's also my favorite for indoor lighting. This powder is so versatile. It is mildly luminous, it absorbs oil, and it never looks cakey. It's like magic. But again, it's very pricey. The good news is there's a sale going on right now at Pat McGrath Labs. I think you get 25% off site-wide. If this is on sale, I highly recommend you pick it up. Next is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. This is my favorite for outdoor light. Looking for something luminous. This is another one that just blurs away imperfections. And again, when the sunlight hits your face, the reflex in this will expel that sunlight and no one will be able to tell if you have a pimple on your face if you're outside in this. Dark circles, bye bye. Me. Oh God. <laughs> so my next category is concealers. I have a video up already on my channel of my top five favorite concealers. So when I name these off, I'm just pulling three of those five. I'm not going to prate on these because again, I already have the video. You are welcome to check it out. Again, that's my top five favorite concealers. I'm just going to tell you what they are and be very brief. So the Tarte Shape Tape, it is the most high coverage concealer that you can get for dark circles in my opinion. Next we have the Bye Bye Under Eye. I really like this one for concealing under eye bags. And then lastly the Yves Saint Laurent Touche Clot High Cover Radiant Concealer. This one is very good to use with light coverage foundations or on a bare face. Friends, we are moving on to my top three bullet lipsticks. The first one I'm going to talk about is the Buxom Full Force Plumping Lipstick. So these have a very satin finish. You can tell mine is well loved and they have these cute little designs on the side. Hopefully you guys can see that. Like cute little lip prints. These are going to be on sale at the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. I highly recommend that you pick them up for half price. They absolutely will enhance the volume in your lips. Not like getting injections, but I can always see a noticeable difference with these. They are satin finish and very comfortable to wear. All right, taking her out of her fancy packaging. And yes, she's been out before plenty of times. This is the Pat McGrath Lux Trans Lipstick. These are super comfortable and they wear so well. As I record this video, Pat McGrath is having a site wide sale, so if you are interested, you can pick these up for 25% off, I believe. And guys, the last one I'm so aggravated about because I can't find them. It's my Nabla Soft Touch Lipsticks. These are very matte looking lipsticks that I purchased when I went to DC. I've been purchasing these now for, I would say over a year. I had them in one of my travel cases and now I can't find them. But 
about the products. They have very nice packaging. They are transfer resistant, but I won't say that they're transfer proof. They just make your lips look powdery and plushy. The look and feel of it is very similar to the cushion lipsticks that Jaclyn Hill just launched. Even though hers are a liquid formula, the dry down feels like the application of the Nabla lipsticks. Hopefully I can find mine and I haven't left them God knows where. We reached our penultimate category, which is liquid lipsticks. So the first two that I'm going to talk about, the formulation is so similar that I think if you were to switch out the packaging, I would not know whose is whose. I'm talking about Dose of Colors and Jeffree Star Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick. Both of these are so comfortable to wear and they both have a very nice shade range. I try out a lot of liquid lipstick formulas and I must say these two are the most comfortable out of all the ones that I've tried. And also they don't leave little ridges in your lips. And neither one of them is bad about showing off any texture in your lips the way that most liquid lipsticks can do. The next liquid lipstick, I'll be honest, I've only been using for a month now and I've been using it mainly off camera and I hate that because these are so good. This is the MAC Powder Kiss Liquid Lipstick. This is one that looks good with or without lip liner. The edges sort of just blend out naturally and it just looks so natural on your lips. I also really like the wear on this. Like I can be sitting there and drinking a cup of coffee I'll see a lip print on my cup and think, oh no, like it's going to look awful. You know how sometimes liquid lipstick like chunks can come off and then like you're left with your bare lips showing through? It just wears beautifully. It doesn't do any sort of flaking. It wears off in a very natural way. So lastly, in this video, we're going to cover lip liners. So my top three for lip liners are at number one, the P. Louise lip liner. Now I must say that this one I could actually pick from this category I could pick a number one spot it's not even like a top three like this one is my number one it is long lasting it is comfortable it's easy to blend out just being real if they would expand their color range I definitely would only purchase from P Louise probably that's probably not true but I would be tempted to Next is the Pat McGrath Labs Permagel Ultra Lip Pencil. It's what I have on my lips today. This is a very waxy formulation that is great if you have any sort of dry skin or crepiness around your lips. Because this formulation is so waxy, it will keep your lipstick from bleeding or feathering. It's also very comfortable and it's easy to apply. Next is the lip liner from Dose of Colors. Out of all my lip liners, this is the one that's the easiest to blend out. If you are looking for a lip liner that you can also use as a lipstick, this is a great one. It hardly takes any effort at all to just apply this to the perimeter of your lips and then just smudge it in with your finger or a brush and it will just look so natural and beautiful. Also, I don't know what they're doing with these lip liners because the only place I can find them now is on Amazon. I did not see them on their website. I am hoping they are not retiring these. They're also not on Beauty Bay. So get these while you can. Well, friendos, I think that sums up all the makeup that we can talk about in this video. Again, I'll probably end up having to do a part two or a part three, we'll see. And that all depends on whether or not you like this video. So if you did like this video, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up and I also need Need to ask a favor of you all. So I'm sure you guys noticed that most of my collection tends to be middle of the road, high end, and luxury, but I don't have that much in the drugstore or affordable makeup category. If you know really good products that are drugstore, please recommend them in the comments down below. I definitely want to polish up my drugstore game and try out some new things that are on the cheaper side of things, both for my budget and for my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and listening to me gush about my top three in these six categories. I very much hope that you will subscribe, but if not, we shall forever live our lives looking over our shoulders and wondering what could have been. All right, guys, bye.